So here's what we got up to on what day we Tuesday. One, two, three, four, eight, ten. 14, 16, 18 cuts. Uh, we've got to do an outro again. Oh, my favourite time. Seven forty-seven. I miss them planes. So it was Storm Agnes yesterday. We were away doing an inside job, doing a door. So here's what we got up to on what we do is Tuesday. So we haven't got a flat start, but so this I just chucked this up to use the mortar up. So it, it just seemed to go on and on. Never, it just never ran out. So I've got two courses on. So now because we've got two courses on, I can work all my cuts out. So I've got the mill, big mill walk, you see MX saw at the front there on a pallet. Alex set that up for me, ready to do all the cutting. So I'm going to get all the cuts done up to Lintel. And while I'm doing that, Alex is getting a mix in. And then he's going to load some block out. So hopefully we'll get, we'll get well, we'll definitely get all the block work up, see how we get on the brickwork. Trestles in the van ready to go up. We're going to trestle on the inside as normal because then we can get all, all that off the trestles. And then when we do the sides, we might bring our little scaffold up to get the height on the pikes for the rake going up the wall. So yeah, we're just ready to carry on now. Just get ourselves organised. Like I say, I'll go and get the um, work out all my cuts and um, go make a mess. I'd, I'll switch off now. Once I've uncovered everything, I'll, um, I'll run you through what the cuts are going to be. Right, so we've got six courses up, so we need three more courses up to wall plate. So we need, that's a full block. So the only cuts we need on this elevation is this. So we need one at 100. So that's full, piece full. That's that side finished. So we need full, that's a cut. So that's 410. So we need one, two at 410. Three, four, eight, ten. 14, 16, 18 cuts, and that's without doing the pipes yet. And um, I don't think we have a coursing brick up to um, our lintel. Yes, it is, there's a coursing brick in that. There is? Yeah. So I might just cut them down lengthways. As well. When we get up there. <clears throat> Probably when we get up to window height and then there's less cuts then. Right? I'll go off to my cuts, Alex can finish the mix and get a few more. So, what I'm doing here then 
is obviously getting my stacks here. I'm going to do two stacks of 20 blocks here. And I'm just putting all the pieces here. So when we need them, we can just find them here. Instead of, instead of keeping this part all clustered or keeping them all in one place. That way, we need to grab the half and just grab them here. Because thankfully, Dad is there label which one's which. So we just pick it out from our little pick and dip mix over here. And yeah, I think he's almost done with these cuts now, so I'll get these last ones moved. Mix is ready, it's just um, having a few less spins so it's um, usable. <laughs> this feb isn't the best, but um, I figured out how much I need to put in to make it decent enough. So, I'll get you, get you set back up and we will get cracking. Mix is on, Alex is playing halfway through the box. All the cuts are done, I think it's 18 or 20 cuts. That took me 10 15 minutes tops. And there's three, three, st still three bars left on the bathroom. Fantastic. Great bit of kit. So, um, I'll just start building a little corner here, Alex. You can just run it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've already spoke to him. Have you? Yeah. All right. Right. I'll get myself a board here. Then you, you put me a bucket on. I'll get start getting a mix on while you. I'll get start getting this corner up while you finish off loading out. Our mix not good enough for you now. A what? I mix not good enough for you. <laughs> Don't forget to stick, stick a stack here. Just to throw up on the trestles. Okay.
Here we go. So, we're going to get one last course on top of this, and then it's ready for trestle height then for us. Only because um, these bricks aren't set as high, so we're one above and then set up. And we'll go over. So, get this one on, and then we'll have a quick break. Get you a tan lots in for this one. Windows formed, we're up seven. There's all our pieces still cut. So, time to get the trestles out of the van, get the planks on, and get it loaded out and carry on with the face work. Nice one. Break over, jointing done, looking good. Now, time to get uh, the trestles in. Do you think it's worth taking these boards up now so we get the trestles flat on the floor? Or we'll just leave them in for cleaning the floor? You can take this one out. That's still pretty much flat and we're going to need to elevate one of them anyway so we can elevate this side. Good thinking. We need to get those blocks in as well. We'll get, get the trestles get in first and I'll just... The barrier's in the way though isn't it? Yeah but then the blocks are going to be annoying us trying to... Hmm. Okay. You, you, you move some stuff around, I'll go get the stuff. Okay, oh, okay. Dad. Yeah, I noticed it before. <laughs> so, yeah, um, if you if you bring the trestles down, I'll help you with them. I'll start putting the profiles up. Profiles are back there. Right, cool. Let's get the profiles up. So last time the profiles need to go up again now. So what we can do now is get the laser level back up on this cast iron pipe which is perfect. Shine it across to our lint light on the house and then I can transfer the levels onto the profiles so we make sure we bang we finish bang on level at um, lint light and instead of putting a pen or anything I've got a bit of electrician's tape there. Just put a little bit of tape round. Can't lose your mark then. So um well, let's just nip the toilet so I'm going to get these levels sorted out now. Okay, all set. There's our mark there. Turn the way up. There we go. Um, Oh yeah. I'm looking up at the white sky so I couldn't see it. I still can't see it, but I've just seen it from down there. So oh. let's 
try it from here. There you go. But it works nice and level, as you can see. Just make out the laser line there. So that's our that's where we punch the hole in the clip there. And then I can't get it more because of the ladder. But it's definitely just above that clip to the left hand side. Just you can see where that clip is, just to the left. So I'm gonna get the tape up on the tape up on the and that's it, that's our level. And then now we've got something we can got our gauge gauge down now. So we're all nice and level. Right, let's try and get up there and get the tape on. lunch got here this window is only six cores high so it's going to be a funny um, it, it, sh it probably would end up a tiny little slither of two courses and then we're at proper little height so with a bit of luck we'll get all the brickwork up and maybe get it backed up and then tomorrow we need to get the trestle tress set up through here so I can get up with the, the saw and cut a pocket out each end to get the wall in. And the our inspector also wants the cavity cutting out, so I'm going to have to cut the six-inch cavity up there as well. But that won't be a problem for that rascal. Like I say, that cut, I think it's about 100. I'm sure, it's a 130 mil depth cut.
plenty anyway. Sales for everything. So um, we'll get you set up again and we'll get the rest of these bricks, bricks wazzed on. Although I, I need to get my blocks sorted out yeah, on the next course. I'm going to have to get the blocks done so we can get the lintel on and we can carry on. And then I'm going to have to, I don't know what to do with the cavity tray because we can't put an upstand on it. So um, if it was on this course, we get the upstand here because it's going to be a full brick on the end. The only place for an upstand is there, but the lintel is going to come to there. So we'll just have to work around it and see what we can do with it. So um, yeah, let's get back up somewhere. And get back up. like old times when we did a video for Keystone yeah we did made a video of Keystone this has put a lintel in so I'm gonna put this front lintel in which is a bit of a weird height but that's where that's where it's wanted this is two courses three courses below the, the main lintel height which is gonna be on the door so it's a 900 lintel because it's a six inch cavity K150 900, smallest you can get, just about fit. And then, Al, what's that called? Cold bridge strip, isn't it? Cold bridge strip, is it? Yes. That part of the cold bridge strip, isn't it? That's a special name. Cold bridge metal strip. Yeah. Yeah. That metal isn't attached to that metal except for these few little welds, so it's you haven't got the cold bridging from the metal to metal and you're getting them now with the do away with the place all together so I saw plastic ones at the uh, trade show plastic tops there Thank you. 
20 seating. Bang on 220. Goes into the cavity a little bit, but there's nothing to do about that. That just about just about works so this is a half on the end here so I'll trail up this half and then we've got a full brick on the other end which works there it's the trail up there so it does actually work perfect for us and then once we've gone over the top of this customer has gone off to get some uh, 18 inch damp we've got a uh, 300 there it's not quite big enough because it's because it's a big cavity we need it wide, wider stuff to get over the good cavity uh, yeah, so yeah, get this levelled up. Three courses across the top, and then it's this lintel, which obviously needs busting into there. So, um, yeah, let's crack on. Right. 
Yeah, leave me here. Then. We've got uh, plenty of plastic now from the insulation, haven't we?
go. That is lintel height. Second lintel height. So this lintel is going to overlap this lintel. It's a weird detail, but it's because it's a small window for the the toilet. So just going to speak to the customer, talk about wall plate heights, etc. And he wants an eight foot ceiling, so there's going to be three hundred above there. I think it's going to be a coarser block from lintel and a 4x3 wall plate bedded up high so that get us to, get us to about four courses up course above that light and then I think it's going to be minimum two maybe three on the outside so another two definitely maybe three on top of that and then plus all the block work obviously and then the wall plate which is coming tomorrow so there's still plenty of work to do on this yet there's all the extras to go up there yet the extra three that course to finish off, lintels to break out, cavities to cut out of the wall because the inspector wants the cavity continuous so there's no cold bridge. Oh, I hope you're picking this up because of the wind. Then uh, obviously the pipes, which we can't work out so we've got our wall plate height. Um, going to have a bit of insulation left over, maybe a couple of packs. But still sealed, they can go back and get a refund on them. He's going to be using the 8 before sheet of somewhere else on the job instead of get, taking that back. I think they wouldn't take it back now because it's a bit, bit, bit sight damaged so he can use that elsewhere. Works out roughly the same price for a sheet of insulation, the 100mm, as it is for the, the dry therm cavity slabs. Four pair pack. Um, yeah, I'm going to join it up while Alex is tidying up. Um, yeah, that's us. Spot boards to clean, load out for tomorrow, or maybe load out tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, we've got to do an outro again. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we did make some good progress at least. But that's the end of the video. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe. And tap on that bell. It's meant to be a bell. That way you'll always know when we upload, which is a massive help and a good uh, way to support the channel. And if you want to support the channel any extra ways, you can do the super thanks option under the video, or there's a link to Dad's PayPal. Not necessary, but appreciated nonetheless. Every little bit towards uh, Dad's uh, trust fund for his hip. We've had some very kind donations. Yeah, so everybody who's been donating, very, very much appreciated. Thank you. So this has been lounging about in our living room with Steve and Alex. And we'll see you in the next one.